Okay, when I came into the summer, I imagined it going something like this. And this is what I got. So mainly because of Corona, instead of living out my dream summer going to parties and exploring with friends, I spent a lot of my summer focusing on the hobby of reselling. So reselling is the buying and selling of hyped clothes. To accomplish purchasing these items, I have to use the help of bots or automatic software that checks the items out for me. And I think I can say for everyone who's ever tried to attempt reselling and botting, there are a lot of alarms. So for me, throughout my reselling career, I noticed that most drops take place at around 10 a.m. Eastern. So for me, I live in the central time zone area, which means I have to be setting alarms for 9 a.m. Eastern. And a lot of the times, my bots require starting tasks earlier to preload the sites, which means I need to have an alarm even earlier than that just to make sure that my bot is up and running and tasks are set. So basically, the week started off for me last Thursday with the online Supreme drop, and also there was a drop at 9 a.m. for the Space Hippie 01s on Nike sneakers app in a black wheat colorway. But for the Supreme online drop, I ended up using the bot Mech. So I ended up starting my task about four seconds before the drop went live. And as you can see, we just ran into a lot of errors. We were just stuck on add to cart and ended up having to go manually. So I flew through the checkout pages and I ended up copying a maroon Pharaoh Sanders t-shirt in size medium. And then after that, I ended up having to go back to my cart to check out an icy gray sweatshirt. So our bot mech was actually able to pull through for one task further into the drop. We were able to check out a gray future odd t-shirt in size extra large, as you can see. So besides those three dubs we got on Supreme, we were able to catch another dub earlier in the morning at about 9 a.m. on Nike sneakers. I checked out a pair of the Nike Space Hippie 01s in black wheat. As you can see right here, we got that dub. So here are the four items in total and the prices we sold them at and the total profit we made. So then the next day, August 21st, was even crazier. On August 21st, the Nike Dunk Low Sambas and the Jordan 3 Retro Laser Oranges dropped. The Sambas had an extremely high resale and the laser oranges were iffy, but we still went for both of them anyways. So I started my foot sides task about seven minutes before the drop went live. And I started my Shopify task about four minutes before the drop went live just to pass the queue. And the drop was pretty much a dream. I was able to check out one of the Jordans straight off a of Foot Locker right off the bat like immediately into the drop. And as soon as my captures popped up, I went straight to solving those two for the Sambas, which I was ordering on Kith. I had two tasks going for those. And as you can see, one of them immediately started processing. We solved a total of three captures in total, but it was a pretty smooth drop. This is honestly one of my favorites. And as you can see, I'm planning on selling both of these for the highest bids on StockX, and this is the total profit we'll receive. Next day on August 22nd was when the Jordan 12 Retro Indigos dropped, and the Yeezy V2 Israfils also dropped. So we didn't end up going for the Jordan 12 Retro Indigos because my cook group did tell me that they would more than likely brick, especially if you pay sales tax. But I did end up going hard on my bot Wrath for the Yeezy Israfils. And this was a long drop, like I woke up at about 8.45 for it, but it wasn't until about 9 a.m. when I finally got a checkout on Easy Supply. You can even hear me. Oh, I hit one, finally! But yeah, so I got one on Easy Supply, and luckily I was able to come through and get two more off of Adidas accounts just by signing up for the raffle. 
So we were able to go straight to Discord and I was able to find a buyer for all of them for 260 each. So here are our profits for the 22nd. Finally today, August 23rd was the drop of the Nike Kobe 5s. I really did end up wanting to cop one of these for personal, so I went for a size 11 on Nike sneakers at 9am, but the sneaker gods did not want to bless me today and I was not able to purchase a size 11. However, I did end up being able to purchase a size 16. So if you're in contact with anyone who wears a size 16, so like Giannis or like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, please let them know that I'm interested in selling them a pair of shoes. But yeah, that's pretty much how this drop went for me. And that sums up the week. I'm thinking of trying to get one of these out every Monday where I just talk about the week prior and how every drop went for me and my experiences. But that's pretty much how this week went. So thanks so much for watching.